MAMP is a local development environment for hosting and testing web applications. In a different video, the installation process was described. In this video, we will configure MAMP for your local machine. The process should be identical regardless of your operating system. Critical note, MAMP has a unique ability to use any folder as the root folder for the website. We will capitalize on this by having you create your root folder on a cloud drive. This will assist you in protecting data should your hard drive fail. Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive are examples of cloud drives. Make sure you have a cloud drive account and that the app for your drive is installed and configured on your local computer. This should be done prior to setting up MAMP. In this video, I will use Dropbox, but it will look similar regardless of what drive you're using. Open your local copy of the cloud drive in the operating system. Create a new folder named htdocs. Please make sure it is lowercase. htdocs is a common name for the web root folder on a web server, thus our use of the name. With the folder created, start MAMP. As MAMP starts, it attempts to start the web and database server. On Windows, if this is the first time starting the servers, you may be given a Windows security alert asking you to allow these servers to run on particular networks. Choose the Private Network option then click Allow Access. On Mac, you will be asked to provide your login password. This is because on a Mac, any port number under 100 is considered a security risk and you must authenticate its use. If everything works, you will see green icons next to the Apache server and MySQL server names in the administrator window. If the servers will not start, the typical issue is that the ports, port 80 for the web and 3306 for MySQL, are being used by a different process. Skype uses port 80, so make sure it is not running. On Windows, Branch Cache also uses port 80. Go to Services, Find, and Stop this service. If the servers will not start, open your services tool and look for any service that may be using the web or MySQL port. On Windows, press the Windows key and type services. The open services option should be highlighted. Click it or press enter. On Mac, press the command plus spacebar keys. In the spotlight search field, type activity monitor. When it appears and is highlighted, Press Enter or click on it. On Mac or Windows, click the name heading in the Windows to organize the running services alphabetically. Look through the list and find anything that says HTTP or Web if the web server won't start and stop that service. Look for anything that says MySQL if the database server won't start and end that service. Sometimes the service may be running inside of a virtual machine. If you see anything that starts with VM, select and stop it. When done stopping these services, try restarting the MAMP web and database servers. Once both servers are running, click MAMP, then Preferences link in the menu bar. On the Start Stop screen, turn on the checkbox to stop servers when quitting MAMP. Click the Web Server tab. Click the Select button to the right of the Document Root text box. Navigate to the htdocs folder that you created in your cloud drive and select it, then click OK. Make sure the path looks correct when you return to the Preferences window. Click OK to close the Preferences window. The web server should temporarily stop, then restart as the new settings are implemented. Finally, click the Open Web Start Page button on the MAMP control screen.
a new web page should open in your default browser. If everything worked, you should see a success message. We'll overview a few of the options available from this screen in our next video.